hey, hey, it's What's Cooking, and it's Happy Memorial Day coming to you from Southwest Escondido. And I have no idea what she's been up to. I was out of the listing this morning, so what's cooking, good looking? Huh. I am making those gosh darn muffins again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am I'm totally going to do it. <laughs> so we have our sunglasses on because it's a holiday, exactly. right? Exactly. Plus but, we were outside. But I actually can't see in here with them, so I'm going to just stick my on the side here. Oh. Okay, so we have, I'm going to be making these things, these muffins. With um, almond flour again. But look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Wow. Wrecked ribs. Big old thing of ribs here that have been ooh, cooking low steaming. and slow all day. And now I'm going to put lumai from the gas lamp and Do the huntress. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to put some of their fabulous sauce that Chef James delivered several weeks ago. It actually feels like it was 300 years ago that he came by in the driveway with his mask and delivered all that amazing, um, safely um, packaged items from the R&D restaurant group. But doesn't this look good? It most definitely does. Oh my gosh, this sauce kind of got us through like the main part of COVID, huh? Mm -hmm. So those will get cooked off underneath a higher heat because they've been cooking all day at, like I said, one, 175 to 225. Huh. Yeah. What are you drinking there? Oh, that's my new concoction. I'm obsessed with it. It's the, um, it is Crown Royale, peach, oh, and it's, it's orange Royale. with iced tea. And You're I put, just drinking it because it matches your outfit. And I put some um, fresh mint in from the garden. Okay. Oh, that's always good. So back here, I have Caesar salad. So I'm going to add, I made the dressing this morning, and I'm going to add some fresh Parmesan. So my Caesar salad dressing is homemade. It starts with four... Um, of the ice cubes from Trader Joe's of garlic. It has canola oil, not olive oil, and it also has um, crushed red pepper, black pepper, um, two eggs from the girls, fresh squeezed lemon from the neighbor's tree next door, Jan, who we miss, um, and I, oh, Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco sauce, and um, Dijon mustard, and I like the, the the Dijon mustard from um, Trader Joe's. All right, so I'm going to cover these. These are going to be so good. And then remember the other day? Go back in? Um, they do, but not right this moment. Okay. Okay. Oh, and I also have Borisan cheese stuffed peppers that we're going to have, uh, like little good. tiny peppers, right? And I think I'm going to put some of this chili lime seasoning on it, um, just for the heck of it. And it'll give it a pop of color. All right, so those I'll just heat in the oven. And then lastly, oh, Caesar salad, got that going. And do you remember the other day I started making broccoli soup, but I never did anything as far as like the dairy or the cheese or anything? So this morning I did a roux. I'm getting good at roux. Um, so it was butter and flour. It was really nice. I got it nice and creamy. And I added cheese. And so over here in this pot, is the broccoli cheddar soup. Now it is officially cheddar, and I'm gonna add more cheese to that, because cheese is the name We're of the game. We're not going to uh, eat that today, though, are we? We are. Oh, we are? Uh -huh. Wow, yeah. good heavens. So, we so have, you're gonna eat we have a Caesar salad. those and that, and I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna have Caesar <laughs> salad, we're gonna have broccoli cheddar soup, and I'm gonna actually broil them in these little, um, these little dudes right here. Amazon.com, and I'm gonna put cheese on it and put it under the broiler so that the cheese gets crispy, crispy and delicious. Yeah, I'll be good. Just like I said. All right, my measuring spoons are not here yet. So, Penny but we do Nathan, know that's a tablespoon. So, Penny Nathan told me to mix my wet ingredients first. So I beat the two eggs from the girls. I have two tablespoons of butter. So last time I doubled this recipe and I blew it because I did not double the baking powder. So today I'm going to do six tablespoons of um, I thought almond flour. Half of a tablespoon last time. No, that was the baking powder. Oh, yeah. Well, geez, between.
between the two of us, we'd suck at baking. <laughs> It'd be bad news bears. But that's four, right? Okay, no point to be good this at any of it. This is five. Except chili cheese dogs. And this is six. Okay. So that's six. And this time, I'm spicing this thing up. Because you know what? If I flop again, I flop again. I don't care. All right, I'm putting a whole teaspoon in this time. So, Gerald, if you're watching, this is what I did wrong the last time. Is it heating or level? I'm making it level. Mm. It, would it hurt to do a little bit extra? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the chemistry. Last time I did not enough, so. I'm putting crushed red pepper in this time. Hmm. Yep. I'm going to make them spicy. And then I'm going to actually put the everything bagel in it. So sprinkling on the top? I'm going to sprinkle it too, just mm. a little smooch smooch there. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put cheese. See, now that's, that's I think the cheese stuff in it is it what kind of makes it not a little I didn't put cheese last time. Firmer. Okay, do you, okay. what do I know? What do I know? It sounds good. I don't bake. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that all the dry ingredients are. I think you have to change that. I didn't bake. Oh. Now you're baking. I'm baking. Like I said, if I start canning and making um, low clot jam, somebody better come over here and like get me, like shoot me, really? get me out of my misery. We kind of live in a little house on the prairie, so I guess you could get away with that. <laughs> you know, when I was- Our zip uh, code is E-I-E-I-O, by the way. When I was in <laughs> that movie with a long time ago when I was little, uh -huh. um, they used to say, Night Elizabeth, you know, from Little House on the Prairie. Oh, yeah. Night the, John Boy. Because I had the red hair and the braids and, well, back then my hair was shorter, I think. Okay, so. I don't know, you had hair down to the bottom of your rear end at one point. That was right before I did that. Oh. Okay. Now we're going to whip this up. All right, Penny Nathan, I whipped the dry and I added the, the wet stuff. Already the texture is better. So hopefully. Oh, it is thicker, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Well, that's partly you added more stuff to, you know, the baking uh -huh. powder and. Did you add more flour this time than last um, time? Almond flour. Nope. Same amount. Same amount. Okay. Six tablespoons. Okay. Well, that was brilliant. This whisk business. It's so thick it got stuck. It did. Just pound it. Here. There you go. It is a beat. It's loud. You're supposed to beat it. Okay. So, huh. Much better texture, guys. Like, look. Way better. All right. And my muffin tin is right there. May I? Your muffin tin is here. Please have it. This is the spray side, it looks like. Yep. Okay. So the last time it was so soupy that I had to like use a ladle. This is looking way more promising. Huh. Oh, even the flavor. I think the flavor is going to be so much better, don't you? I don't know. So you bake, last one's you bake for like 12 minutes at 375. And Ingrid, you're the one that got me like fixated on these. And yours just look beautiful. They look like popovers from Chef Deb's um, Coaster. Yeah, can you help me? He's like my assistant today. Just don't knock the ribs over. The rib will be. Which one do you want to um, I need to kind of, I need to kind of make it even. Yeah, still a little bit more. Doing some good. See, Which now last that? time, last time I got six. This time only five. Okay, so you're going in the oven. That's because there's more in there too. I think because it was thick, the other one's just kind of sank to the bottom. That's true. Okay, 375 and it's 205. For how long? 12 minutes. So everybody, that's what we're up to. I got a lot of commotion going on in this kitchen today, and uh, we hope that you guys are outside enjoying this beautiful day. Hopefully you have beautiful weather wherever you are, and uh, are staying healthy and safe. And Philip is setting the timer for 12 minutes, so we can check those little, uh, mine won't be popovers, I know it. They'll be like little, <laughs> little hard disks. Like little hockey pucks, but hey, we, get. we ate the other ones. They were we good. We did. They were yeah. good. So well, I ate one of them. Where'd the rest of them go? No, there's still three left. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they're good, especially if you put them in a pan and grill them with some butter. They're way better. 
All right, everyone, so please stay physically distant while staying socially connected. I don't know, how many days has this been? Like 975? I don't know. It's been a long time. More than 60, we know that. But it seems like things are opening up, which yeah. means we'll be hopefully going to some restaurants and doing- Maybe um, a winery or two. Yeah, like doing some fun things instead of just always being in the house, um, which is what we hope, right? Yeah, but we're in the backyard too. That's not so bad. Yeah, and today Philip Fredrickson went up to our Oceanside listing, which has been beautifully staged by Ascent Staging and Richard, mm -hmm. and beautifully um, painted, and all kinds of um, updates have been done through Lee, our, Lee and Company. Yep, through yep. our Ascent Construction. So we have like construction people for you, general licensed contractors, as well as um, staging. And tomorrow we go up at 9.30 and we're filming a video um, with mask on, but we're filming a video that we'll share with you once it's done. And it's um, about safety. So it's all about being which safe. Which is separate from the regular photography, which is happening today. So Correct. that's why I was there getting him set up and- And you cleaned. Cleaned. He cleaned. I told Mary Beth, I'm, I uh, have way too much education, 21 years of education, to be cleaning somebody else's toilets. You cleaned two but that's bathrooms what we do. today. <laughs> you cleaned a lot <laughs> today. Bathrooms, kitchen. Floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, full service good. dude. Yeah. I'm telling you. We do whatever so, it takes. It was very cool that you got to go up there and do that. And Analuck is there doing the photos as we speak. So, it is. hopefully, we will be live and running by Thursday, I would probably, say. Probably Thursday. 55 years, an older community. And he's doing some cool drone stuff. And, up, and it's, it's a beautiful community, golf community I with love it. huge, like, I don't know if it's an Olympic sized pool, but pretty close. Tennis courts. I mean, the people there are amazing. I mean, they really are so friendly. Hey, you're over 55. I'm still 39. I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, maybe Philip Fredrickson would find himself uh, wanting to live there. <laughs> hey, if I needed to, that would be a good spot. This listing would be good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, I think that's why we put the chicken coop in, was in case I needed to find some place to live. <laughs> oh, that, hey, those chickens are treated pretty darn well. How are they doing today with the purple cabbage? Oh, they're pecking away at it. They're playing like they like feather it. ball with it. Yeah. It's they the first time it. they've had a purple cabbage in the coop. I thought it would add a little color for change. Plus, they only had one green cabbage. In I wonder if somewhere. their eggs, if the yolk will look different. Huh. Oh. We'll have to see. Because it's not food coloring that does it. You, you do have the timer on, right? I do. Okay, cool. All right, I'll take a picture of what they end up looking like, these muffins. And I think Robert Fudge is there. Hi, Robert. Um, can't really see. Hey Maria, um, I can't really see who's on. It would help if I, you know, wore glasses. But I see, I see my. Would you like me to get them? No, no, no. I, I see right better here. far away than I do up close. <laughs> anyway, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day.